Hi, hi, this is Frank, the homeless man. You might have seen me before on the Nailhead show. Well, I'm here. I'm sitting in for Nailhead and his vassal Ralph E. Boy. And uh, they, they might show up a little later on. Uh, one thing we wanted to address, uh, we wanted to open up this, sh this particular segment of the show by uh, addressing those people who find the show, the Nailhead show, that is, they might find it a bit um, repulsive or even apathetic, as you might have seen uh, a little earlier. And some people find it simply stupid. And we want to address these people. I mean, usually uh, shows, various uh, sitcoms and uh, talk shows or whatever kind of show you got, especially TV evangelists, they don't want to hear any kind of criticism whatsoever. But us here at the Nailhead Show think that that's what makes the world go round is uh, criticism, counter-criticism, opinions, okay? And that's why we voice our opinions, because sitting in this apathetic township, you might not actually get a few uh, opinions that might, you might want to hear about, or actually maybe you should hear about. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to address these issues. And if you have any sorts of problems, what we're doing is we're, we're going to be opening uh, uh, this show to the public, John Q. Public, that is, and uh, hopefully we'll get some input from you people out there. <clears throat> so, one thing we want to do in the near future is we want to have an open line, that is where people call in on the telephone, and maybe we could even get your voice over the, over the, uh, the TV for you so you can hear yourself speak. And uh, we're going to possibly answer these questions to the best of our ability, which some of you think is not much ability whatsoever. Um, Another thing that we're going to do is uh, we are now accepting uh, letters, letters to us. We're going to have viewer mail, actually. If you've ever watched any other of those, uh, com those comedy sitcoms, sometimes they have viewer mail. Well, we're going to do that. And you know, what, a good reason why we have viewer mail is that, frankly, we don't have a lot to say sometimes, you know, and we need, we need certain, we need uh, information, feedback, and in addition to that, we also need time killers. So uh, write a good long letter and we'll address it and we'll even comment on it. Maybe we'll even uh, do some pretty bizarre stuff with your letter. Um, nothing really that bizarre, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope. Anyway, uh, the, the address we have for, for mailing your letters to us or postcards or pictures or any kind of, any kind of um, anything you'd like to, us to comment on on the television, uh, please address your letters to The Nailhead Show, and that's WFDB Channel 2 Cable Television, and the address uh, P.O. Box 352, a Sonnet Mass, 02702. And like I said, put attention, Nailhead Show, and uh, Nailhead will get the letters. He'll psychically read them, and, and uh, you know, we'll comment on them. And uh, we really would appreciate that. So please send in your letters because we need all the help we can get for this show. It's, yeah. um, and also we'd like to sort of give a synopsis on that. <clears throat> we here at the Nailhead Show, we try to bring you the best in quality television. And um, if any of you are feeling really unnervy and ungrateful and uh, you feel that you should openly criticize or slander the Nailhead Show, or even if, if you feel that our opinions don't uh, coincide with yours, or you, your opinions, uh, you think they're too good to be shown on this show, then change the bloody channel, okay? There's plenty of other things you can watch on TV. And that brings me to the topic of apathy. Now, apathy is a word which means, it's when, we'll put this right over here for us. Uh, we'll put it in front, in front of this beautiful landscape. There we go. Um, apathy is is a word that I don't know the the uh, the exact uh, explanation for it in the dictionary. But what it mainly means is that when somebody has a has a real shit attitude about something, all right, it's like when when someone you know like oh what a I guess I shouldn't be saying these things, but what 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 an idiot what an idiot look at that guy anybody who has any problem with anything that's different. You know, a lot of people say, oh, wow, man, I should wear my CB jacket and, my, and, and uh, you know, my hair has to be this short and, uh, and, and maybe I should be driving this car. And, you know, the general consensus of what goes on around these townships. And uh, a lot of apathy is felt towards these people, and these people feel a lot of apathy towards anybody who does anything different. 
And uh, that's why you see a lot of people move out of this town, actually, is because a lot of people get really fed up with living the same old boring lifestyle. If they try to do anything creative or entertaining, they're uh, drummed out of town. Apathy. It's a really sad thing. When, you know, actually, another reason why I'm addressing this issue is of apathy is that around, around the, the uh, Christmas season, you know, it's supposed to be a time of joy and rejoicing and, and revelry and uh, jovial times here. But instead, what ends up happening is a lot of apathy around the holidays. People get in a lot of accidents, car accidents escalate, and um, a lot of uh, tensions are felt between family and friends, between merchants and, uh, and their customers. The list goes on and on. And the reason for this is that every, everybody, uh, I think it's all concentrated. It's concentrated ath apathy. As a matter of fact, if, if uh, Stop and Shop could uh, get it into a concentrate, it would probably sell well around Christmas time along with eggnog. But uh, what, what, I don't know what the reason for this is. One thing you might notice in your households, I'm just trying to give you ideas of what apathy is. In your households around Christmas time, a lot of relatives or friends you might not have seen for a long time, they come over. And everybody's all hunky dory, kiss kiss, and uh, you know, all friendly with these people. And as soon as they leave, someone starts talking about them. Oh, did you see this? Um, that, and then, and then, and then, and then, freak me out, Frank, freak me out. You know, it's, it's really ridiculous. And then, and then, as soon as you leave, you know they're talking about you too, and you take part in it too. You're like driving in the car with someone talking about Aunt B or someone. You know, Aunt B's getting awfully fat. Boy, I remember when she used to go out with so and so. Blah blah blah. But I don't have an Aunt B. This is just a, a reference. But it's really sad. And um, one thing that we thought we'd, we'd take out on, on the, the, the scar and apathetic streets, the, uh, let me rephrase that, the, the uh, crime scarred and apathetic streets of uh, Sonnet, as we thought we'd go out and ask the people about, about Christmas, but in a, a weird sort of way. Let's see what the, what the honest answer these people can give. As you've seen in the past, people don't give an honest answer. Or that, for example, the uh, the question that was posed in the second sh second nailhead show about whether um, people thought it was funny to laugh at other people's misfortunes, especially uh, celebrities' misfortunes, and be, everybody said no. And you know that's not the case because as soon as something comes up, everybody's got a joke about it, and you hear it from everybody, even the nicest person you think you know. So, um, so you can see the top of my head now, but. Um, one thing is that w we want to go out in the streets, and we're going to ask people the question. They're not aware of this. You understand? We're making up these questions as we go along in the studio here. And, um, and um, what we're, what we're going to ask these people, these unsuspecting people, is that whether it's better to give or receive or both. And we might add on to that question with um, another question such as, uh, D did you feel a lot of apathy this Christmas, especially towards uh, so-called friends and, and, and family? And we're going to try and get some honest answers. And uh, we, we hope to get a, a, a wild crowd out there like we did the last time. And uh, hopefully uh, a certain man who made a very distinguished comment about uh, humor will be out there. And we'll get, if you all know who, who I'm talking about, we'll, we'll get uh, another thrilling and uh, really intellectual answer back. And uh, so what we're going to do now, we'll break. We might have, we might have a little um, episode of the show entertaining you before we get to the questions, because I, I have a feeling this is going to be a long show. <sighs> All right, well, we'll see you out in the streets. As I was saying, this is Frank, the homeless man, and I'm out here on the streets of Asona in front of the Sonnet Pharmacy. And uh, like I said, we're, the topic is apathy, and uh, especially around Christmas time, because you know a lot of people lose their m minds. And uh, we're going to be asking people the question about whether they think it's better to give or, or re better to receive, and what they think. You know, we're trying to get some honest opinions, which I don't know if we're going to get, but. Um, well, the reason I came up with this question is because uh, it's the only one I could think of. <laughs> Do you think it's better to receive than give? Better to receive than give. 
Hmm. Now think about it. What do you really feel? It's better to give. To give. Give, definitely. And you? To give. Mm -hmm. are, are you sure about that? Absolutely. But you're happy when you do receive, though, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it depends, depends what you receive, right? Yeah. Okay. I get more enjoyment out of giving, I would say. Oh, that's good. That's Absolutely. good. Um, and do you have any other, anything else you'd like to elaborate upon f about the end of the Christmas season? Are you happy it's over or sad? I think that more people like to, they only help during the Christmas season, that they should help every day of the year. So do I. Yeah, I feel that too, that it is, everybody's like all nice during Christmas and then yeah. as soon as it's done, everybody's out and screw you again. the economy, right. their spirit is, is much lower than it would be. Normal. Hi, th this is uh, Frank. Hi, this is uh, Frank. Hi, this is uh, Frank. I definitely give. To give. To give. Are you, I don't want to be one. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, that's a hard question. I think giving gives you a lot more pleasure than receiving, mm -hmm. uh, particularly at my age. I don't know how the younger people would feel. And we want to get loaded. Oh, yes. I have four children, one grandchild. It's a real pleasure to give toys to the grandchild. Yeah, I can imagine that, yeah. 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 But you're right, as far as the stress and everything. I don't know how we work on that to lessen it. Right. Do you, um, are you glad that the holidays are over now? Yes. I am <laughs> delighted that the holidays are over. I mean, I wouldn't want to not have them. Right. But, uh, it's a nice break. I, and... I put too much stress on myself. I know I do. Right. But, yeah, it, it, it was nice, but I'm glad it's over. Yeah, it could have only lasted a day. All right, well, thank you very much. Well, as you can see, now that the, the holidays are over, people will admit that they, they like to give better than to receive, which I think they're masking something, definitely. And it seems a lot, a lot of smiles on the people's faces now that Christmas is over. Christmas is not a time of good cheer. And uh, it, what actually is good is that Christmas is a, a, a release of, of uh, apathy at the end of the year. Hi, and and uh, it, it's a fun day, but all the all the stress that comes out in the beginning. Well, you've seen these people testify; they have different uh, opinions, and I have an opinion too, which you're probably sick of hearing. So, let's go back to the studio. And remember, that which shrinks must first expand. That which fails must first be strong. That which is cast down must be raised. Before receiving, they must be giving, mothers! Thanks. Boy. Hi, welcome to the Fuck of the Nailhead Show, and I'm your host, Vessel of Nailhead, and, uh, Nailhead, unfortunately, this week is vacationing in Jamaica. He's, he's taking care of business there. But we have as a replacement his brother, Numskull. And, and Numskull will be transmitting thoughts that Nailhead normal, normally would be transmitting to me via t telepathy and stuff like that. So uh, still should be a pretty good show. And uh, on this show, we're going to have, well, the previous two segments you saw with Frank, the homeless guy. And uh, we're also going to have a reading from the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. And this was written in 6th century, 6th century B.C. China. And uh, it, it's a very um, moving piece of work, and, and I, I like it a lot. So I'll be reading your selection from that. And we're also going to have a velvet landscape from downtown Fall River. And uh, that's going to be nice, too. That'll be a moving, scenic move, uh, moment where you can meditate with your family and get into the beauty of this wonderful black velvet painting, which is, as a matter of fact, painted by some guy named... C L Y Cly something, <laughs> but uh, it's a very nice painting, and um, and of course we're gonna have Frank the homely man going to be coming on the show in a second, and uh, actually he'll be coming on the show like right now. Come on, come on down, Frankie boy. <laughs> hey, this. All right. So, uh, How are you doing? Oh, pretty good. Did you have a good Christmas? Yeah, did you? Yeah, it was all right. Oh, I brought you some gifts. Um, Ooh. Some nice uh, calendars for your desk, because your desk is uh, Look at that. pretty empty. Ooh, Century 21, what a company. Yeah, and here's one from Pat Q. Agent. Pat Q. Agent, yeah, my pal. Yeah, of John Q. Public. <laughs> hey, look at this. June 1991, what kind of cheap <laughs> is this? It's a thought that counts. Yeah, you get the... So, so um, 
I also brought you a picture of our lovely staff, which later on I guess we'll get a, a close up on. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see the lovely yeah. staff. Yeah, yeah. yeah these people, smart, these people work hard behind the scenes, especially Joanne and Sandy. Pauline's a nice woman. This is the carcass audit department. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, that's 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 lovely. That's lovely. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself on Christmas. I did. So, so how were the streets this week? Hostile? Uh, good reception? Oh, no, I think people have let off a lot of steam th this week. Um, as, you, as you probably s saw in the segment, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but they were very friendly. Yeah. Uh, they were really receptive to the question, and uh, it was a very nice day out. Yeah, well, it was a beautiful day, but, well, but, but, don't, but, but don't you think that it, what do you think about the question? you like getting gifts or buying gifts better? I like getting gifts, yeah, except for too. like maybe a couple of people I like. I like <coughs> yeah, like, like if you give them a kick in the head, <laughs> yeah. uh, that gives them pleasure. That, yeah. That's definitely when it's better to give than receive. Yeah, yeah that's true. But I like getting gifts better too. It's not just because I'm greedy, it's because we're honest. We, we do, you do too, you, everyone does. I, what would you rather do, give away your house or get another house? Yeah. But, um... So I, I guess this is a good moment to do a little reading now that things are a little less hectic. Cause this is a really peaceful book. So, so I'm going to do a reading from the Tao Te Ching. This is chapter 46. These are words to live by. Here, let me hold up this yeah. beautiful scape. Okay. When the Tao is present in the universe, the horses haul manure. When the Tao is absent in the universe, war horses are bred outside the city. There is no greater sin than desire. There is no greater curse than discontent, no greater misfortune than wanting something for oneself. Therefore, he who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Thank you. That was a reading by the Lao Tse Su by Tao Ching. No, the Lao Tse Ching by Lao Tzu. That was very well put. I, I'm glad that fits the show very well. Yeah, I think it does too. Especially part about the horse's manure and all that. Yeah, yeah, I don't quite get it, but it, I think it means something big. It's very profound. And, uh, hey, let's review a tape. All right, what you got? I got a very typical tape nowadays. <laughs> oh, Nirvana. I mean, yeah, I'm sure you've all heard of this tape, Nir the new Nirvana album, Never Mind. With the hit single, Smells Like Teen Spirit Deodorant. <laughs> that is a good song. Um, one thing that folks out there should know is that this is not their first album. This is their second album. They have a first one called Bleach, which was, is, is just as good, if not better. And it's a shame that you never hear bands like this on the radio until now, because it means a lot. And yeah, Numbskull was saying he likes the album a lot, and it's, it's, it's true what Frank the Homo Man was saying. <laughs> but, but, um... Never mind. <laughs> but never mind. Which is the name of the album, in fact, and you should... I guess you should get it, because, I, I mean, it's really popular, which is always a shame to see, because it ruins a lot of good bands. But all in all, it is still a solid album. Even sure though, is. even though every goofball in high school likes it, yeah, but it's about time to get into something. Yeah, that's halfway decent. that's true. It's better than like in those lame bands that are out now, like uh, Poison. Poison, who broke up, as a matter of fact, which we're all very uh, pretty upset about. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, what else? I'm Skid, not upset about that. One. Skid Row. I mean, Jesus, <laughs> the guy's a clown. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, boy. Okay, so. Uh, I don't know. Usually, we we want to get we want to get more political and get people mad in this show a little bit more, which we've been lacking to do because we're just we we come into it unprepared. We we don't realize we have a show to do until we're actually doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, the camera's going. And, and by that time, we don't know what to say, so we just make up stuff like now. But we're gonna have like good topics and stuff. And as uh, Frank, the homeless man, mentioned earlier, we we want viewer mail, like just any correspondence, threats, anything, just something. We it'll fill up time on the air, and we can respond to your questions, and maybe even have you as a guest on the show, because Lord knows, I'm sure you want that. Oh, we'd love guests. We would love. Them. Yeah, yeah. We we can interview them and everything, and uh, that's what about. That. <laughs> yeah, and if actually, if you have anybody who would like to come on the show and try and iron out some of these atrocities that are going on as we speak. Yeah, we need, we need people in the business, professional people. That, that, that uh, a man behind the scenes, who I won't mention his name, Steven, sir, is, uh, he's, he's does a wonderful job, and, and, and we love him like a friend who lives down the street from me. And, uh, but we still, it would still be good to have, like, animators or anything, you know? I mean, oh, yeah, we're, we're, animation. Any kind of animation you got, any kind of uh, artwork, but I mean, it, it definitely can't be something really stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because Lord knows we never put something <laughs> stupid on the air. And uh, 
I don't know. Yeah, and we're going to have skits, too, like shows. It's going to be, like, really cool someday, this show. Yeah. Right now, we're just, uh, and if, and if you want to send money, too. I don't know if we can ask that, but. I, yeah, I no. think we might have a telethon. All right, no, I don't send money, I guess. <laughs> um, and, well, pretty much, I, I guess that, that about wraps up this week's show. And um, I hope you learned a little from this show, because we sure did. And, uh, and, and, and I'd like to thank uh, Frank the Homeless Man, who, who should be a regular part of the show if he ever moves down here from his permanent dumpster located in Northampton, Mass, lesbian capital of the world. How do you like living in Northampton? Oh, it's, it's nice. Is it? It's all right. Is there really a lot of lesbians out there? Yeah, but it, you don't see as many as, as, as proclaimed to be out there. Yeah. But who cares? I mean, it gives a little... Uh... That's something I like to see in this town we live in, more lesbians. I, I don't see any anywhere I go. I mean, I see people I might think of, but I've never seen one. Like, lesbian couple down at Junius. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it would be. They're, they're, pretty, they're very nice people. So on that note, um, have a good week. And, uh, and write in. Send your letters yeah, he in. Here is the address we'll be shown after the closing credits again. So please, yes, write in. Send pictures of yourself. Send like stuff that looks like money but really isn't so until then so long see ya dun, 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 dun.